Let's go. I don't know how to recall. Did I just do it? Coming. I'm yeah, with okay. you. Okay, there we go. Freaking, I know you're gonna drop things on my head. Shepard, I have patched it to the warehouse scanners. The crates in the yeah. transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Stop talking, my guy. This is why I never bring Garrus out. He dies all the time. Mass Effect 1 he dies. Mass Effect 2 he dies. I bring him out all the time in 3 though. His concussive blast? What does it combo with? His combo, it combos with something and I remember the first time I played being just like absolutely gobsmacked at how powerful the combination was even at the very beginning of the game. Because the blast is kind of broken in three. It's no big deal though. It's fun. Thank you, thank you. I am the best shot, as we will determine in Mass Effect 3. Heads up! Oh no. Not behind me. What? Where, where, where are you going? Just gonna like walk in. I'm not running from you, oh yeah, you are. That's exactly what you're doing. Except he's gonna throw a big mech at me first. Harkin's going to regret this. Where is it? I know you're. I know you're gonna bring oh, it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two heavy mechs incoming. Do you really think you can take me down? Sir? Truly, it's T posing. Oh wait. Um. And I know I die a lot, but holy moly. Oh, do I not have any ammo for this? Oh my goodness. Well, okay, time to bring out. Alright, Arkin, that was fun and all, but, uh... Never that was fun and all, buddy, but, uh... <laughs> time for you... See, this is G I can get behind. I don't like I don't like bullet like bullet spread. I'm not a big fan. Unless it's a shotgun, obviously. <laughs> but I don't like the this gun has almost no recoil, which really isn't fair, honestly, for like a fully not fully automatic semi-automatic weapon, but still. It's burst fire. Does he you think he doesn't know that we're right here? I'm gonna punch you in the teeth, my dude. You were close, but not close enough. Well, I'm not gonna punch you in the teeth. Garrus is gonna punch you in the nose. So, fade. Couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus. We can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. 
Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sidonis. Torian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. That's just dumb. Harkin, this doesn't have to be hard. Screw you. I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. Who's dying? <laughs> you know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right. Get off me. Uh, I'm watching my friend. I'm like, hey, buddy, dude. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Terminus really changed you, huh, Gareth? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. I'm going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So, if our business is done, I'll be going? I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So, what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah, I hope we could do this again real soon. Yeah. I, <laughs> I didn't shoot him. I just, Come on, next man. Sedonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. He does get punched in the face, so that's good, but we don't need to. Don't need to shoot him in the leg as much as he deserves. It's not about what he deserves. Harkin's a bloody menace. It's about. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. It's about Garrus. Like I don't want, I don't want Garrus to be going down this path. You know what I mean? We're not renegade. When we're a renegade, it's actually really awesome to watch this go down because like the justifications are there. You know, so renegade or paragon, like renegading or paragoning, Garrus is viable in my mind. Like both are completely viable. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. Mm -hmm. That's all. Just sipping tea over in this. What do you want from me, Shepard? Come on, bud. What would you do if someone betrayed you? Which is a very fraught question, honestly. Like, Shepard never has to deal with that. Like, she just that's not something she has to worry about. I'm not sure. But I wouldn't let it change me. I would have said the same thing before. Yeah, that's kind of a me. naive thing. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. You'll be here soon. He's like, I don't want... He's, he's like, it's not you gonna be doing it, it's me. You know, as Garrus to say. But I'm like, you're literally... See, this is actually why I really like bringing Bam in this mission, is because there's a pan over him. Uh, but it, whoever's in the backseat gets a pan over. But I appreciate the Bane pan over is not. But yeah, no, he just literally wants me to stand there and, like, tell him when to Shepard, take the shot. Can you hear me? Like, that's an accomplice of... 
Like, I don't know, I, that's a, the biggest accomplice I can think of, you know? <laughs> All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Listen, Sidonis. I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. I have to live with that. I wake up every night. Sick. And sweating. Each of their faces staring at me. Accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food has no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus. He's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus... I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just... go. Tell him to go. He's giving you a second chance, Sidonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I think he deserves to die. But again, like I said, it's not... I don't want that on Garrus's hands. Like, this was a former friend, you know, and I don't know. Maybe it's unfair. It's unfair of me to take that away from him in some ways, tr truly. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I get it. I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. Like, also, like, I don't think they would... I don't know, maybe they would. I don't know. Maybe they're, they're dead and with their dying breaths were like, yo, kill the guy who betrayed us, especially because be, if they knew it was Sidonis, maybe they would want that revenge, you know? But I don't think if they were as good of friends of Garrus as I think they were, like, they wouldn't want Garrus to be the one necessarily to do that. But I don't... It depends, honestly. Like, I think you could legitimately make an argument either way where they're like, you know, hey... Like, it would only, it only is fair or just if Garrus is the one who does this, who takes out the man who betrayed us all. You know what I mean? And then Garrus can have revenge for us. You know what I mean? I don't know. It's all just supposition. But this, the way it usually goes and stuff like this is you don't, like, the person may deserve to die, but the person doing the killing doesn't necessarily deserve to have that blood on their hands. You know what I mean? Like, they don't deserve to have that weight. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and, and white. And that's the thing! Great. I don't know what to do with it. The world me. isn't black and white. I and mean, this is what you've been teaching Garrus since, like, the beginning, right? Like, he's kind of a hot-headed, young, like, you know, wannabe, like, renegade cop kind of thing in the first one. And you got to teach him, like, temperance, sort of, you know? And that, like, their justice system is in place for a reason, <laughs> you know? And that, like, then, as he knows in the second one, the justice system isn't always fair. It doesn't always work out, you know? But, like, it doesn't mean that you have to run around being a murderer, you know? You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. You Pray. are my best friend. <laughs> Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I think Garrus is one of the best, you. like, he has some of the best dialogue in his quest, in his mission. Where, like, you really get to know him a bit more. Operation Dark Moon. 
British and seasick. We'll ensure no criminal charges are filed. May be able to co-opt Harkin's criminal networks. Interesting. Garish gets a new outfit. Lovely. I think we don't have anything else to do. Who needed a forge ID? It's somebody on the Citadel. I mean, it's not like the most important thing, but what the, who was it? I'll, I'll maybe look it up if I'm concerned about it. Go talk to Garrus. Buddy old pal, we can finally chit chat. Even if it's eerily quiet, it's super weird. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedona's. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. <laughs> There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. People don't prepare for high risk operations. I forgot. <laughs> ah, I know the one time I did flirt with Garrus and like romance him. At, I was doing a renegade run, and I'd show up in this dress, right? And I was like, "Yeah, this is this would be nice to flirt with Garrus in this dress." But then you sit like this. <laughs> it's like, Shepard, no. <laughs> I thought you'd be used to high risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once, and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But, an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. Uh, we are. You don't have to lose people, but freaking heck. I am. <laughs> Dang it. Do you ever regret leaving CSEC or the Turian military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. This man truly is my second in command. I know the game's like, Miranda's your second in command. And she's she's good for, like, the Cerberus side of things. But when the going gets tough, and, like, I love Thane, right? But, like, Garrus has been with me through thick and thin from the beginning. And, like, the way he, like, analyzes situations and, like, the experience he has is very similar to Shepard's. And I think I've mentioned it before, but in the Shadow Broker DLC, they actually do have a, um, a dossier on Garrus, and it specifically says that Garrus could potentially be more, even like more than Shepard if he wasn't basically kind of stuck in Shepard's shadow. You know, that he could be essentially a Shepard if he wasn't with me, which kind of haunts me a little bit, honestly. How do Turian crews get ready for? Oh high boy, here we go. With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? 
It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the mm -hmm. room. I assume you took her down gently. Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. Famous line? It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in our quarters. <laughs> I had reach, but she had flexibility. <laughs> More than one way to work with the stress. <laughs> <laughs> stress. Shepard's just like, oh boy. And when you want when you want to romance uh Garris, that's the route you take. And he's like, uh well, he's so awkward, it's so funny. Uh, so I think that's it, yep. Thanks for the talk, Garris. I'll see you later. Sure thing. Just just chat just buddies chatting it up in this one, honestly. I'm gonna run go see Thane, but I'll probably call it here. Well, let's let's we'll see. Um, uh, yeah, we'll go see him. I don't think he says anything different, but I would hate to miss out on that. Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. You needn't ask. Time for me is short, Siha, but any I have is yours to take. How are you feeling? No worse than ever. You needn't worry, and you. I'm well. good. Okay, we're good. I don't think anything's gonna change. No need to worry about me. How are you holding up? I'm looking forward to the end of the mission. It has been many years since I felt I could relax anywhere. Huh. <sighs> I oh, I usually even when I don't record it, I usually come in here and I say goodbye to him after I end up after I end recording sessions. <laughs> we owe ourselves a memorable vacation. We should pick a destination. There must be some travel brochures in the ship's computer. I would very much like to see a desert. <laughs> it's very bittersweet, especially because I, I know I know how things turn out, but it's my greatest wish is that even though I think in Mass Effect 3, I I don't think there's a way I can feasibly headcanon that I go to a desert with him, but I really hope I think and I think actually he his son might say that he does go. He goes and visits a desert on Earth, but that's all I want. Even though I, well, I, what I really want is to go visit one with him. But I don't think the game is cruel. But it's like realistic, right? It's cruel to you when you love Thane, but it is a very realistic sort of a cruelty. Like you can't really hate anybody or anything for it. You know, it's just the situations conspire. Shepard is essentially like, as many of you know, kind of put into like house arrest and. Like, she can't really go anywhere. And so, and by the time Mass Effect 3 starts, and then, like, crap hits the fan, you know? And it's like, there's no time anymore, right? Like, everything is, like... The ball is rolling and, like, tumbling, and the boulders are falling. You know, like, there's no time anymore. And so, it's just one of those things that, like, I feel like my shepherd is one of her biggest regrets, is that she's unable to do this. This, this small vacation with Thane, but it's nice to kind of imagine that maybe at Mass Effect 2 before she has to go back to the Alliance um, that maybe they go somewhere but that's up to personal interpretation so anyway, thank you all for joining me once again, this was probably a 2 episode or who knows, but thank you all for joining me, I appreciate it uh, really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling chair patron, thank you so much for your support, and Christopher, my tree chair patron, who is the super bestest, I super appreciate your support, and I really hope you're enjoying the game. So, thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.